let's talk about independence. Not just in the sense of financial independence, I know it is such a hot topic and everyone likes to talk about financial independence, but in a sense of true independence, being truly in control. And this conversation really started when I was in Florida with one of my friends and I was going through a rough patch mental health wise and I felt a little too depressed to go out to eat. And so as I was at her place eating her oatmeal, I started saying how one of my biggest fears is being too independent. And the reason why I said that was because I was so worried about having her drive me around because that's what she suggested that we can do. Like she can just drive me around. I don't need to rent a car and she can just like, you know, pick me up from my Airbnb and drop me off at the temple and we can meditate together every single day. And, you know, just hearing that gave me a lot of anxiety and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't want to like depend on someone like that. Like, you know, I just want to be more independent. And so that is the background of the situation. And so I told her that one of my biggest fears, one of the fears I wanted to overcome was being too independent. And I just remember she stared blankly at me and she was like, what do you mean too independent? You can't even go out to eat. You can't even take care of yourself. And when she said that, my initial gut reaction, my reflex was like shock. I was like, oh my God, I didn't expect her to say that. Because like in my mind, I was thinking about something else. I was thinking about the car situation and how she's driving me around and I don't want to depend on her. When I realized that, it is true. My fear is not the fear of being too independent. My fear is completely like something else. It's not about independence because what she said was true. I was not independent. I was very much dependent because I couldn't take care of myself. And just because like I'm not dependent on others to take care of me does not mean I am independent. It just means I have a fear of allowing others to help me. And that's a completely different thing. And this also reminds me of what I've been experiencing all my life. And I know I'm not super old, my life ain't super long, but what I've experienced all my life was a false sense of independence and a false sense of control. And I thought that independence was all about the practicality of it all. It was all about the money, being financially independent, having enough money in your bank account, in your portfolio, in order for you to afford your current lifestyle, in order for you to not work a job. And sure, that is one part of it, but you know, just take a quick visit to all the fire forums, all the, you know, that fire subreddit even. You can see that there are a ton of people who have reached FI on paper. They've been millionaires for a while. They've made the big bucks for a while and they're still not retired. And it's because independence and freedom, they're not just about the money in your bank account or your net worth or your income or even your ability to generate passive income. It is actually also about your mentality, your mindset. And I know these are such vague things and I really don't like talking about vague things. So let me be more specific about it. What does it mean to have an independent mindset to have the freedom mindset is very simple what it means is actually creating that safety from within allowing yourself to do the things that you want to do and i think this is the hardest part you know getting rid of those golden handcuffs and allowing yourself to actually take risks allowing yourself to actually do things without an explicit roi allowing yourself to take jobs that may have low pay or no pay at all allowing yourself to run your business without the money-making pressure or intent. I think these are really, really difficult things. And these are also things that I've experienced last year. And these are also the things that give you true freedom. In my opinion, independence, freedom, I like to use them interchangeably. And to me, independence and freedom is really about being self-sufficient no matter what happens on the outside world. And I think a lot of people, they have this like false sense of control based on the premise that they are able to control what happens on the outside. AKA, let's say someone feels in control or let's say me, I feel in control when I make six figures or I feel in control when I make six figures a year without working. And I think a lot of people that they have these like limitations these criteria of what it means to be in control. But ironically, what it really means to be in control is actually, I am able to feel happiness no matter what, no matter how much money I make, no matter what happens on the outside world, no matter what external thing exists, no matter the weather, no matter what other people say or do to me, no matter my income, no matter the economy, I am going to be okay. 
And obviously it's way easier said than done. But from my experience and from what I've seen so far, when you're able to create that safety from within, you don't need to worry about a lot of these current worries. You don't need to worry about, am I going to survive? Because a lot of times, like the people who are watching my videos, you, that's who I'm talking about, you're not in survival mode. You might feel like you're in survival mode because of your upbringing, because of your past experiences, your traumas, your fears, but you're not actually in survival mode. I've talked to many of you and you make decent income. You've been making decent income for a while. You have a high paying skill. You have a high paying job experience. You have a nice resume. You can get hired even under this economy. You're not going to starve. You're not going to end up being homeless, but you have these fears that don't actually reflect what is going on. And so for you specifically, if that is you, if you're like, oh my gosh, how does she know? Then I think your number one priority should be to create that safety from within because you're not actually going to starve. You're not actually going to be homeless. You're not actually fighting for your life. You're fine. And it is now time for you to let your body know to let your mind know, to let your inner child know that you are fine, that you are okay, that you are safe because it is not fun to live life with the feeling that you're not surviving. (laughs) It is not fun to live with a life or death situation mindset. It is not fun to always have fear and anxiety lingering on. And it is way more fun to just live in the now, to allow yourself to experience the bliss, the happiness, the inspiration, the love that life has to offer. And ironically, when you are the most in control, when you are the most independent, it is when you don't try to control anything, when you don't set any criterias. You you don't set any criteria on your own happiness. You don't set any criteria on what should have happened and what should happen in the future. And you just allow things to happen. When they do, you act upon them. You take actions accordingly, but you don't preemptly worry about things that have not happened. And you don't try to manipulate things for them to match your expectations. And you don't feel anxiety over things that may not turn out exactly the way you want. You just allow things to happen. You just allow life to unfold and you just focus on experiencing the now. And ironically, even though that sounds like very like wishy-washy, wobbly, not solid, (laughs) ironically, that actually gives you the most control and the most freedom because you have full control over whether you feel happiness, whether you feel joy, whether you feel fulfillment, whether you feel inspired, whether you feel bliss. And you also have the freedom to live life and enjoy life no matter what. Like what more freedom can you ask for? And what more control can you ask for? And that is really so freaking ironic, I feel, because I used to think that in order for me to be in control, I must make everything happen exactly the way I want it to be. I only want things to happen according to my expectations. And my expectations are, I want what I want to happen. And I want what I don't want to not happen, right? To run away from what I don't want and to embrace what I want, to celebrate what I want. But that also means that my happiness is dependent on external things. It's dependent on something that is not completely within my control. And it is also very limited. If I say I will only be happy if it's sunny tomorrow, then I can only be happy when it is sunny tomorrow. But if I'm like, I'm just going to be happy no matter what, then I can be happy when it's sunny, when it's raining, when it's snowing, when there's a storm. No matter what happens, I'll be happy. And I'll also have the freedom to fully enjoy life no matter what happens. I don't control the weather, I don't control the economy, I don't control how other people view me or see me or talk about me or think about me, so I'm not going to obsess over it. And that is the ultimate control and freedom. 